Before we start, guys, we'll just do a separate couple of minutes for the Mondays afterwards. For the Sundays, okay? Sean, first of all, which team thoughts on that game, that performance? Um, very frustrated with the outcome um, because I thought we, we played well. I thought a lot of the things we're now looking for working with these players to bring to a performance were there. Um, especially first half more so, limited them to almost a no chance or, or certainly I can't remember anything clear. So whilst creating, I don't know, I think we had nine or ten in the first half and five of which are high quality. So the mix of the performances are right when that happens, but we've got to score a goal. Um, yeah, we'll go on to the referee's decision in a minute, but second half, much say we let a couple of uh, uh, easier chances get, get it against us sorry but we're still looking on the front foot still looking to score goals you know um, one of the highest chance counts I've had since I've been here I think and the high quality of chance which has always been my thing it's not about making loads of chances it's the quality of chances there was lots today I mean, in terms of converting those chances are you confident that the answer to that lie within the squad as it is or do you think I'm confident that we, we have to rely within the squad because this, we, this is what we are at the moment if we can affect it we will do um, it's not easy as I've said but we, we are working with these players roughly the same players all today obviously young he played um, Arnie will get fitter and sharper Dom will get fitter and sharper he's at the end of his rehab now um, amongst other uh, players who are at the end of their sort of recovery period so yeah I mean look uh, the idea is you, you get them out there to, to create a better version of chance and more of them and we did that today but you still got to take them I mean you mentioned Don there was, was there any or what, the, getting him on the bench there was the thought process five not being matched because yeah, he's not at the end of his rehab so once his rehab is finished then we'll be clearing him okay. and the referee's decision in the first half obviously that Michael Keane put yeah I mean I, I you know, I'm a big fan of VAR, as I've been. Um, I don't know, for me, on this occasion, why I get the idea they're kind of promoting the idea the referee's decision is first and they're there to spoil it. But on today's one, that's where it should step in for me. You know, I've seen it. I'm a, my gut feeling at the moment was that. Uh, you can normally tell because their bench didn't reference, you know, didn't go mag. I think they thought, well, that's probably a goal. Um, look, some... <laughs> I, I can't really work that out. I've seen it back. Taki does nothing really. Uh, minimal contact of any kind other than the keeper catching it above him and landing on him. Uh, I don't know what he's meant to do. You know, as a player, I, I have no clue what he's meant to do. Okay. Uh, so therefore, why he's given us a foul, I just don't know. Um, the ref said he gave the decision. I just offered him a view that that's why VR's there, in my opinion. That's where it should step in. And the minimum should be you go and look at them on it. The minimum for me. But if you're sitting in a studio watching that, I'd be, I'd be amazed. I'll ask to see what they say. Said, but I'll be amazed if you're sitting there and you didn't think that was a fair challenge because he doesn't do anything to put the keeper off other than almost think he's going to get hit actually and sort of cower away and you know sort of bend over as if here he comes sort of thing and he drops it so what do you do? Have you spoken to Neil uh, in the dressing room what did you make of his performances? performance today he was in the right areas but just couldn't no that, that I, I won the strikes I want all players to get in the right areas um, uh, and he did so you've got to keep getting in the right areas to score goals um, so yeah that's that's what we want from the team getting in the right areas and eventually if you create that many chances and you keep doing it relentlessly you will score goals and you win games that's that's what I've learned all my life about football there's no two ways about it but the key is you've got to keep doing it so we certainly believe after that performance in the challenge is to keep that consistency of how we can affect games but there was a lot of good things about that today Yusuf was here today do you think you can throw him in next no, he's a young player he, he needs to get fit I um, mean, as in properly fit, as in Premier League fit. No, he's a young player, he's a young talent, and we've got to develop him. Um, and, and if he surprises us and he's ready straight away, then that's great. But he's here to come and uh, learn his game and I'll continue learning his game in the Premier League. Sean, just going back to the disallowed goal, were you kind of explicitly told it was a foul, not a handball? Yeah, they, yeah, they felt it was a, a foul, yeah. Um, so. Like I say, I, I I I don't know what a foul is if you you know if you're not meaning to do anything and you're just almost getting out of the way. I don't know how that's a foul. Whereas we all know if you're deliberately backing in or whatever, um, then it's a foul. But 
I, I didn't see any of that. So, but look, it's done. So there's nothing I can do about it. It's just a, a very frustrating one. That's for sure. And, and just on Arno Danjuma, obviously came on today. Is he kind of in terms of his own fitness? Do you feel he needs more before he's able? To he knows. He knows he needs more because he, he missed a lot of preseason. Then he got a niggly injury that cost him probably seven days as well. So he knows that he needs more uh, more fitness and and a base base fitness, if you like, to to raise that. Uh, um, fitness level so yeah he knows that is, is the plan with Chimiti potentially as you've done with some of the others to play under 21's games and, and we'll, we'll see I mean first of all he's in here We'd, we're only at the testing phase see how his body is see where his fitness level is um, we'll find the mixture of games program getting him involved and see where he's at um, but he's a, he's a young talent and he's not an instant like I say if he is if he turns out to be instant then fantastic of course I think we've got to remind ourselves I mean what as a future player and the, the, you know, the way the club's trying to grow and the way we're trying to adapt to it is of course you need experience we know that in the Premier League but also that next level of player that's beginning to come through and beginning to grow and I think that's finding that balance is not easy of course and the deals have to work for the club the deals have to work with the opposition or the opposite club sorry it's not an easy situation thank you Okay, well, do, just one, one more from Will. <clears throat> just to my day, Sean, is he still not fit? Or no. Oh, yeah, squad? still not fit. Reports of full of main terms of keys because it's not been in that one. Still not fit. Thank you. Cheers, guys. We'll just do a couple of minutes outside.